Hello, my name's Mike and you're watching one of a series of videos designed for the beginner guitarist. If you follow this series, you'll learn the names of the strings, you'll learn uh, enough notes on the first position of the guitar to enable you to play some easy tunes, and you'll learn how to count and develop a good sense of rhythm, and all this will give you a strong foundation for becoming a good musician in the future. Mike again. So I'm hoping by now um, you've got uh, you've started to get a good feel for the instrument. Uh, it feels comfortable. You can hold the the pick uh, with no problems. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. If you if you get the pick um, so that it sits on your thumb like this, um, I've got the pointy end pointing towards the camera right now. So it's it's flat. It's let's parallel with the floor and then I'll just bring the first finger down and that's as you can see that's pointing towards the camera so there's not too much uh, of the pick showing you really don't want this you don't, I haven't got I haven't got hold of I see, I see a lot of people going like this so eventually it just it needs to be secure I like it so that there's there's just there's just enough of that tip showing. Uh, this one's fairly worn down now. Uh, this is really thick. This plectrum. It's a two point six mil. Um, I've got a new newer one there with a nice big um, pointy tip on it. Not worn down at all. This is slightly slightly less thick. This is two point two mil. Uh, you can you can use a thinner plectrum. There's no problem with that. I just find as I, as I, as I get uh, as the years go by, I find it much more secure for me to play a thicker plectrum. Uh, I don't have to dig in as hard. The plectrum does some of the work for me in that respect. Okay, so um, this is the last lesson on the. Uh, we just we're just learning what the strings are called. Okay, so we know the E near to the floor. We know the B above that. We know the G. And the D, um, so that leaves the two, the two, um, the two lower strings. Um, the guitar is a contradiction because the highest string up, in terms of its physical position, is the lowest note. So that that that's our that's our lowest note. That's the E string. That's the low E. So you'll notice that there's two E's: the high E and the low E. And be, below the low E is the A note. Okay, so uh, again, take take your pick, put it onto the uh, A string. That's the second string down, not the string this. It's here, not the not the low E, the A string just underneath that. Okay, so uh, give me an A. You ready? One, two, A, go, A, go, A, go, A, go. Now let's go to the string underneath the A. You ready? One, two, D, go. D, go. And to A, go. A, go. Now to the low E, knees to chin. One, two, E, go. E, go. And back to A, go. A, go. A, go. A, go. A, go. D, go. D, go. And back to A, go. So I'm hoping that uh, you should have found that a little bit tedious by now because uh, we're just really playing single notes with no rhythm attached. So we're gonna say, make this sound a little bit more interesting. So rather than just play when I say A, one, two, A, go. We're gonna do this. So if you notice there's an A, 
and a gap and two A's. So I've got time to, to, to hit, hit a, a, a drum beat in between. Give it a try with, with some chords. One, two, three, A's. A's go. A's go. A's go. Now to D's go. D's go. Back to A's. A's go. And to low E. finding this really easy. So next time um, we're going to talk about what the guitar is consists of, all the main parts, and um, we're going to think about using the notes on the neck because we haven't actually placed our finger on the string yet. Okay folks, I'll see you next time.